I think they've got a pretty clear game plan. Universe Enigma fills me with confidence. Envy with three last hits, not the dream. Yep. Three last hits on both Visage and Pugna. It's mm -hmm. a battle of harass and poke and prod. Well, they might have found Pylai die here. The Cogs proving quite potent. Zephyr draws the first blood. Envy will survive as he makes it back to the tower. He's at the top, down bottom. Looks like we'll see an exchange. Pylai die isolated by Zephyr and KYXY. Battery assault incredible in these kind of scenarios. The Morphling, but perhaps a little bit more difficult. He needs a little bit more than just level six before he really wants to join fights. And that's where th this bad stuff of Visage often doesn't matter. It's because kills will catch you up better than farming. Well, Pylai die initiated on again, but gets down the tombstone. They kill Zephyr first, but uh, oh, Silencer tackle. doing a lot. DJ sets it up and makes it an easy one for three. Yeah, I would agree. If you're five manning, obviously the auras don't stack and all that stuff, but if you're splitting up the map, it's sort of like having two mechs. Never yeah. ideal, but there are situations where it doesn't feel too bad. And they're playing in different lanes, at least for now. Top lane smoked up. Here we go. They want to take a team fight. No global silence yet. Nice hook shot. Sets it up. Should be an easy LSA, but no, he holds it, and the shackle actually latches on two. Laguna will still finish off Universe. They'll go one for two, getting that big kill on the Lina, and now Zephyr getting chased down by DJ. It's not quite enough. Nice use of the urn. Wind run forward. DJ still committed for this. Hit by the Cogs. Power shot for the kill. But 1437 has done a lot of damage, and we'll find an extra plus two to boot. Top lane. Uh, might see an opening onto Zephyr. They see Universe. A lag spike there. Drops the level two Malefice. There is a black hole. Always needs to be careful against the clockwork. Nice shackle from DJ. Point blank power shot will yield an easy kill. Now on the other side, set up onto the silencer. Envy using that Dark Troll Summoner for the ensnare. Now on the other side in your dream, basically getting soloed by Abed and finished off by a soul assumption. Those are the kills we were talking about. A double for Envy and a huge... So, yep. Warflake's level 8. Right now TA's level 14. It's looking really ugly for Tigers. Once his TA gets Deso, like, we haven't even seen the TA get involved yet. The TA's 1-0-1. Yep. Her, her spike's about to come. She just obliterates KYXY. 1-4-3-7 right. dies to Envy yeah. in the bottom lane. And the Morphling just kind of flops over to DJ. Yeah, no doubt about it. Morphling, you know, we saw him look so good in the Chinese qualifier. And so many of those games, it just speaks to what happens when you give this hero 10 minutes in the lane and when you give him absolutely nothing. There hasn't been a moment to breathe. Having trouble keeping his head above water, so to speak. When you put two heroes like Enigma in his lane, you're denying creeps constantly, you're putting pressure on, you have kill potential on him. He, he feels like a totally yep. different hero. And he gets a Lincolns very early on compared to this, where you're farming with a Morbid Mask. Yeah, I think both teams understood the weak lanes very well of their opponents. The in Morphling on one side, the Visage on the other. Yeah. In your dream, Global Silence might be enough to save the Lina. Also a decrep, but Envy's there with the sole assumption. Lena's the first casualty of the fight. Pugna will go down second. Now they're starting to split out. KYXY, or pardon me, 1437 and Zephyr both fall. The only hero still alive is the Morphling. Not even going for a Glimmer Cape. He's just, he's just invising around. Just getting some value out of the old amulet. Okay. It's, uh, it's kind of cool. Item. Let's him sit in the back line or the front line. Be in an interesting position for a fight to start like this. Gets he gets dusted. dusted right away, though. Tombstone comes out. There's the global. He gets finished off, but it's a double tombstone. Battle of the tombstones as Black oh, Hole gets used. The hook shot. That's so unfortunate for Zephyr. They will lose two, and the yeah. good game gets called before the fight even finishes. Tiger's getting cleaned up. Wow. That was like a Hail Mary type play there. There was... No yeah. real way to win a fight at that point. They're too far behind. 27 to 10, 23 minutes. It's Kunkka so the other way. Alonso well, definitely not there yet. Yeah, I think um, it's the Frankfurt Major, that big one. Oh, yep. Pylai die. He's going to get caught by the boat combo, and that should be enough for a first blood. Six minute in. In your dream, does get that bonus gold. Abed will not be able to find a return kill. Let's get this, though. Smoke rotation with Abed from the mid lane. They did not smoke under a ward or anything, but gonna struggle to find the opening. Moonlight Shadow, four, five, eight, backing up, but they'll use the Dragon Tail. Some follow-up, stun, locked down from the CM. The route, nowhere for him to go. They get a clean kill on the PL. 
well played gank, and they do this around the bounty runes as well. I think they were expecting PL to go for a bounty rune here. Instead, they're just going to pick it up for themselves and turn this into a tier 1 tower. Conker with the invis, sets up onto Sand King, but he did go back home. Actually, not enough damage to finish him off, and now they'll turn on to the Elder Titan. In comes Universe. He's surged up. DJ will live. No detection, and they'll make it too. PL and Elder Titan down. Baines may walk into this one, but that's the uh, smoke for five position. Yep. Oh, nice shackle. Interrupts the epicenter. Actually doesn't do any damage. Baines standing in the sandstorm will die. Universe gets credit for that one with the ion shell. Pylai die with a huge ultimate. DJ in a follow-up stun, but this one might cost him his life. Trying to fog. Moonlight Shadow, it might be enough. The boat flies overhead as the power shot catches one. Iron Shell damage is doing some work here. Universe chases, gets juked initially. Can he still chase this one? Looks so, like it yep. in your dream. Nowhere to go. And Fnatic have all the vision in the world right now. Holding the high ground here. Arrow will connect onto the PL. Uh, Dragon Knight was caught by the Fiend's Grip, but no real follow-up. PL on the run. He's not going to be able to survive this one, but Boat does connect on quite a few dire heroes. Epicenter this time will fly. Highlight die interrupted almost right away. It looked good for the Tigers, but now low on resources in your dream will die as he dances his way to a watery grave. Yeah, great team fight from Fnatic. They get the big five second arrow on PL. Actually set up by a bit of a nightmare there. You know, your illusions don't really care about BKB. We'll hold Abed. that thought. Abed LinkedIn. in deep. He's a BKB though, he should be fine. Double damage on the Wind Ranger. Maybe needs to be a little careful. Now disarmed. Fiends gripped through the BKB. This is a sad DK. He's it's a tanking it, Pretty though. good split. Pretty good boat as well. Universe now goes down. You're right, Abed's still alive. DJ now in decently far. He'll get brought down to dead. A PL. They're going to be a PL, a win range, and a Kunkka late game. ET goes late game amazingly well. Tigers, I feel like, may have this game. Quite possibly, but if they lose the PL here, that's going to yep. hurt. Arrow follows up. He's tanky, but maybe not tanky enough. It's a nice shackle from KYXY, but PL falls. Three hero stomp into boat. Where's the follow up? It's just not there. Fnatic survived through it, and now they're in hot pursuit. They find the stun onto In Your Dream. He's going to be locked down and likely brought down. Hungry for more. Pylai die charges out, but the rest of the Radiant have made the retreat, and they will cut their losses. Big response. Oh, yeah. oh, I spoke too soon. They're not done yet. They want more. One, four, three, seven. Arrow will connect, and the Bane Elemental will be ripped apart. This thing like Fnatic do very well. Like they they lose a fight. It doesn't. So many teams like after losing a fight go into like defensive. Let's like you know play patiently. Fnatic's like no. Let's just run at them and just catch them by surprise. They go straight into the PL. They kill him, isolate him. He's completely alone there. And four, five, eight Whoa. causes. Three heroes to go down there. They grab another. Zephyr caught yeah. by the stun. Arrow sets it up to either. Abed's on the high ground. He's killing KYXY. Whoa, you're right. I'm tunnel vision on that Elder Titan, but it's a full five man wipe. This will take us into the light game. Sure, when you're not in control anymore. DJ gets the setup stun onto the PL. Abed's there with some follow up. The ensnare quite good. Universe joins the party. Wall comes down. PL does doppelganger up. They lose Pylai Die as the boat connects. Dust used, and they are going to find this kill. Now the Epicenter doing some decent follow-up damage to the Elder Titan. He'll also get brought down. On the other side, there's a Fiend's Grip, but he still gets off the Burrow Strike. Will cost him a Sand King. First casualty of this fight. Fnatic need to be careful, but BKB's pop. They're going to go in onto the Kunkka. Earth Splitter doesn't do too much. One for one now, but they've lost a core. Now the stun on PL. Envy comes back in, oh, reinitiates in Universe with a nice vac wall. Brings the PL low, he falls, and Zephyr on the other side. And Light Shadow could still maybe yield an opener. DJ bumps into the Wind Ranger. Yule Scepter into Burrow Strike, but there's a PL on the high ground. Fiend's Grip from seven, or 1437, oh. but beautiful back wall. Sets it up as they bring down KYXY and the Bane. Instant buyback from the Wind Ranger, but Pylai die with an ultimate clear out creeps. Maybe in trouble here. Atos starts things off. Looks like there's another fight breaking out down bottom. But Envy gets brought down. That is the Aegis. Yeah, they're chasing KYXY's win range. Envy's going to have to BKB. KYXY on the run. DJ Burrow Strike will survive. Let's check the other side. Looks like they're doing a lot of damage to the PL. Envy lives. BKB now used by Abed. But the Earth Splitter will hit Envy, and he actually goes down. 
Other side, Elder Titan, frozen up by Pylai Dive, but they're on the run. I think Fnatic are in some trouble here. Yeah, PL's maybe found a way back into this fight. He has the heart regen, so he's slowly getting back up to health where he can go back in and up it. He is going down. Yeah. He's got a lot of regen, but it's not enough. They lose three. Does have the BKB, but maybe needs to be careful here. The smoke rotation gets broken. They go up the high ground. Marana, Fiend's grip, follow up Shackle, and down goes Envy. They catch him with the rotation. Very much eating into that lead. That alone is a 1K swing. But Universe sets up on three, and they just evaporate. It looked like a wow. team of illusions, gods. And like Shadow. Oh, BKB from KYXY. They get a nice shackle onto Abed, but there's the follow up. Fiend script stunned up. They just can't bring him down. He hasn't BKB'd yet. Finally, at half HP, DJ with a huge epicenter. They've lost the two supports on Tigers already. And I don't know how they possibly win this fight. They get the Kunkka. He's caught by the freezing field. They just don't take any damage, Zyri. I mean, they're all full health. It's insane. Even the DK, he's regened yeah. up. They are 60 health regen. Almost get DJ, but Glimmer Cape, he resets. There's been no. a buyback now from the Kunkka. They're going to try to repel. Both sides, all the ultimates available. Kunkka and CM, the only two without buybacks. Big initiation, big vac wall. They bring down 1437, instant buyback there. BKBs get used, and NB actually going down quick, but will survive. Not for long. Coming back now with the Aegis. BKB used by Zephyr. Are they going to be able to kill this DK? A lot of damage from the ulti. But reinitiation, it's DJ with an epicenter. Looks like it's going to be a hold for the Tigers as DJ tries desperately to survive. They do not have detection. Sand King still able to make it out. It is the Earth Splitter that is going to turn a fight for you. And if you get a lot of right click damage thanks to your spirit, you don't need life steal. You're going to run in and punch people for 300 damage. Yeah, Who they're going to die fast steal? anyway. Yeah. Set up onto the Kunkka, though. Big damage. Abed with good positioning. We'll be able to finish him off. The boat does come in at the last second, but now they catch 1437. Die back there. No buyback available on the Kunkka. TP's home. KYXY. He is going to be able to make it out. No way to interrupt. Thanks. What if we give something absurd like this? Oh. Stun does actually connect on the PL. They get off a nice wall, and 4-5-8 gets destroyed. No buyback. And this could be the beginning of the end. No BKB on Wind Ranger either. Zephyr with a decent Earth Splitter. He'll do what he can, but it still keeps Marana pretty healthy as they Glimmer Cape through it. Now DJ with a big epi. They're dropping like flies. The freezing field with BKB. The buybacks they have, they'll use. BKB, the final hold. Echo Stomp, they're doing what they can, but it's just not enough here, Parker. And Fnatic are looking good one series away from a potential TI spot. It's the I think matchup people expected for that first slot. Fnatic versus TNC will be playing a best of three after this.